All right, people, so we did our last little harvest here of the jujubes um, right off of my Zuzhou tree. And a couple of these we actually planted in the ground, but two of these we left in a pot uh, because I've been getting pretty good production off of these two. This is a uh, honey jar right here. And then this is Zuzhou. We grafted this actually last year. You can see the graft right here. And um, it's taken off, it's grown well, and it's also produced really well. I mean, this is a really quite a bit of jujubes right here. And the reason I'm taking them off is because we're so close to frost. I don't really know what's going to happen when these guys get hit with a frost, but I do know that it's been raining quite a bit. And some of them now are, are drying up on the tree or starting to dry up on the tree. And the issue now, I would imagine, is that if it's too rainy, it's too cold, maybe the sugar content in these fruits won't hold up and they'll start to actually ferment. Um, believe it or not, with the honey jar jujube here, when they started to dry up, they all started to ferment. And that was like a month ago when it was much warmer. Um, I think certain jujubes, just for whatever reason, dry better than others. Probably has something to do with the sugar content. I'm, I'm not sure, but I will say that we can take these jujubes off of this tree stick them in the, in the dehydrator here, and then turn them into dry jujubes. This variety, Zuzhou, is not one that's meant for fresh consumption. And if I try to get you one that's probably as red as it can get, let's take a bite. It's good, but it's not on the level of honey jar. Oh, actually, that's pretty good, but I'll say honey jar is on another level when it comes to eating these fresh. It's really like an apple that's dipped in honey. That's kind of what like this is right now, but it doesn't seem like it has as much flavor. And I think there's just certain jujubes guys that are just made to be dried and others are meant to be eaten fresh. So that's kind of all we're doing right now is we're gonna stick them in a the dehydrator. It's really not gonna take long and you'll know when they're done because it's a visual indicator. It's very obvious, you know, when you see a dry jujube in the store, um, you'll be able to tell exactly what that looks like. And you can mess around with it, right? You can have different moisture contents in here. You know, this guy right here, which is, let's break that open. You know, that's on its way to a very different fruit. Um, in fact, that's actually a little fermented, just a hair. So I'm glad we did this, you know, to try to get this whole process here saved and to have these fruits pretty much, you know, last for the entire year in that dried state. They can last a very, very long time. So that's kind of all we're doing right now. We're going to come at you guys with a little bit of a pruning video, we'll talk about pruning these guys, you know, maybe even trying to get them to bush out a little bit, as you can see my honey jar kind of has bushed out a bit as most of them just like to grow straight up in the air. But um, yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that. It's really kind of simple. It's some of these branches become permanent and some of them do not. So, all right guys, talk to you soon. See you for tomorrow's video.